Hello there, it's Sarah from Paper Lovely. Thanks for joining me today. I am back with part three, which is the final part of all of the cards I've made using the Close to My Heart Daisy Meadow card making workshop. In the first part, I showed you all four of the card designs that are included with the kit. And then in the second part, I gave you a few more ideas. Today, I will give you four final ideas, again, using all of the goodies that were included in this kit. So I'm gonna start out here by lining up some of these fence pieces. I have cut out my archway and then I cut out two more of those. Um, and I'm gonna add these along the side just using some score tape to put everything together so that I can have a full piece of this across the front of my panel. Uh, and this panel is uh, measured to four by five and a quarter. Now this is gonna be slightly too long, but that's okay, I will trim off the excess and then go ahead and use that for something later. Just gonna line that up there, see where I wanna cut everything and trim that down. And then I'm gonna add some of my score tape along the back side here. I did take that to um, my Misty and I have stamped out um, some of those leaves going along the archway. I've skipped that for the sake of time. I did show you how I lined that up in the first part of this series. Um, so if you missed that, you can go back there and watch it. Um, really pretty simple, um, very easy to, to line up those three little leaf pieces and add those uh, going along the archway. So I'm gonna line this up, getting this as centered as I can. And then I will go ahead um, once I've I got that first side pressed into place, then I will go ahead and add the other side, just trying to keep that all nice and even, and it was easier to do that in two parts. Now, I thought that this had had more hanging off the side there. I did just trim off that excess. I won't be able to use that on anything else. I have grabbed in um, my grass stamp and placed that along the bottom. Now I'm adding in some of my leaf stem stamps using some of my uh, fern ink. I'm gonna also add some leaves going around that archway there just to give that a little more activity. And then I will add my flowers going along as well, just adding some glue dots and pressing each of those into place. Now I wanted to stamp a bluebird on here. So I am sort of combining colors here. I'm using my peacock ink as well as my Sundance ink. And I added that yellow on the stomach of the bird, just sort of ink blending right there, um, rocking one way on the blue and the other way on the yellow. I did not like the way that stamped. And the reason was because it's over top of that fence and it just didn't look even to me. So thankfully I had done a practice one on some scratch paper first and that one turned out really nicely. So I went ahead and fussy cut that, added a little glue dot, popped it in place and you will never know the other one was there. I have gone ahead here um, and I've, I've trimmed out a second blue panel and I'm using my peacock ink to stamp out my sentiment. Now this card, was a labor of love. Um, it was so finicky and things kept going wrong with it. Um, but I really liked the idea of it. So I just kept going. Um, when I first stamped out my sentiment, I did it of course on that original blue panel and it smudged for me. And I thought I was gonna have to redo everything. And then I realized, ah, nope, I can just trim along my fence line there. I'll keep the blue back behind it. Um, and then I can just create a whole new panel here. So um, that was how I ended up saving this. There you can see I added some foam tape behind the fence as well as my archway. And this actually looks better than originally planned because now I've got some extra dimension. Um, but just um, persistence, keep going if you have an idea, even if you keep having some troubles, there's, there's al almost always a workaround. Um, so that's how I did that with this one. And that is gonna complete the first card for today's video. 
for this next card, I had an idea to create a sunset. Um, so I pulled in my inks and I have to say, um, I love this brush. I really didn't use it much when I got it. I've had it for months, maybe even a year. Um, but I'm really enjoying uh, using it with these inks and especially on this daisy white paper. It blends so smoothly. You would think it was Bristol cardstock and, and it's not. Um, so I'm, I wanted to create a little sunset here. I'm pulling in Sundance, uh, Smoothie and Fern ink. And I'm just going to blend all of these together. I'm keeping a, a smaller amount of green at the bottom. I wanted that idea of grass, um, but not too much of it. And I'm just working my way, blending through. Um, I'll go back to my yellow, back to my pink, um, and creating a little um, pretty orange there in the center. I, I ended up doing this for two different cards. I loved it so much. So here I pulled in leftover pieces from that fence in the last video and I've got this strip of paper here. This was a leftover and I can tell you it measures about three and an eighth and of course it's the length of my card base so it's five and a half inches tall. Just trimming all of that off there. And getting everything laid out the way that I would like it. I'm going to use one of my larger hearts to sort of close off that fence. And I've got a few of those leftover cutout leaves, uh, which I can go ahead and add for some flowers along the bottom. Add some art glitter glue, get everything put down into place. Just slightly overlapping that so I have enough space. So you can really see that sunset in between and a good spot to place down my heart. I'm gonna add some glue dots to add my stems and my flowers. And then I'll stamp out my sentiment. Now I learned my lesson after that last card, so I am going to double check and make sure this is stamping okay before I press that onto my blended background paper. I did not want to have to do that again. Using my smoothie ink there and stamping that right in the center, making sure that's a nice crisp image. And then I will finish this up with my wooden heart in the middle, adding a little bit of glue behind that and pressing that into place. And that will complete our second card for today. For the third card, I have again done this ink blending. I'm skipping ahead here just to save us some time in the video. Added some grass along the bottom there. And then you can see I tried to make sort of a sunshine there in the middle. I wasn't super thrilled with that. Um, so we're gonna work around it. I have pulled in a heart, which I'm gonna use to cover that up. I actually did a few different things with the heart as well. I tried covering that with some Sundance cardstock, didn't really like that. I tried adding some ink to it, didn't really like that. So we're gonna end up using just the um, plain wooden heart, um, which I did truly love in the end, but you gotta try different stuff to um, see if it's gonna work or not. Now, again, I wanna do something a little bit different. So there you can see the paper and the inking and, and all of that um, ended up staying with just the plain heart <laughs> after going to all that trouble. Um, but I did want to do something a little different with this. I, so I trimmed sort of a, um, a slice in my panel just for some added interest. Uh, I don't have the exact measurements on this. I'm sorry. I actually, um, I took these home with me. Uh, one of the last few weekends I went home and my mom wanted to keep a few. So this was the one um, that she kept. So I can't give you exact measurements, but I can tell you it started out as my usual four by five and a quarter. So um, do your best guess there if you'd like to try and recreate it. I have added some ATG to the back of my larger panel there. I'm gonna lay out the smaller one as well just to try and keep everything balanced as I place this down. 
and then I will go ahead and add the smaller one down with some ATG as well. Just sort of playing around with how I want my sentiment to be. Oh, first I'm gonna stamp this out. Now, I went back and forth. I wasn't sure if I wanted to use black or another color, but I decided that the green would probably be the best, just so the black wasn't standing out quite so much. So stamping that, uh, thanks so much with my fern ink, and then I will add my panel into place. Now you'll see I've got some flowers laid out off to the side there. I was just playing around, getting an idea of where I might want to place some things. Pulling those in here. And then once I'm happy with that, I will um, go ahead and stamp a few of these smaller uh, little dot flowers around. This is the small solid dot that was in the stamp set. Just kind of scattering that to give a little bit of extra interest. And then of course I placed all my flowers down with some glue dots. And that will complete card number three for today. For card number five, I'm gonna start out stamping out my sentiments. I have got this pink piece trimmed down to a quarter of a card base. So um, I'm sorry again, this was one that my mom kept, so I'm not sure of the exact measurements there, um, but it is literally just a card panel trimmed in two fours. Um, so I went ahead here and added that to a scrap of that pretty plaid pattern paper. I'm gonna trim that down, just leaving about an eighth of an inch along all of these to create a border. And then I'm gonna go ahead and actually use my Sundance ink to add some yellow. Um, really kind of made these look like a stained wood. Um, it had that more of that type of effect rather than a yellow to it. And keeping this last card uh, very simple, I'm gonna add some ATG and press my sentiment into place here. And then I will add some art glitter glue behind my little hearts and place those down as well. And that will complete the fourth card for today and final card using all of the goodies in this kit. Here are a few close-ups of the finished cards. In the description box below, you'll find my blog post, which has additional photos and links to the supplies I've used. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a comment or a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.